Hello, welcome to the Sarpong lab. My name is Brandon, I'm a second year in the group, and uh, let me show you a little bit around the lab. So here we're gonna walk towards 832. Um, 832 is kind of a typical uh, room in our lab so far, but let me show you where we work. So this is a little bit of a peek into a typical lab space. Um, people typically get all their own hoods, so we have our nice panel hoods here, and uh, Rotovaps running, reactions running, it has their desk. They have a nice, beautiful view of, uh, of the bay and surrounding Berkeley buildings. Um, this is my hood. We got some, you know, ideas and reactions going on here. We got some DFT going on there. So lots of different things going on in the group. Um, our group typically focuses on natural product synthesis and also methods development um, for building some of these complex molecules. Everyone's working on different projects, but that's sort of the unifying theme of the group. Um, let me show you around to some of the other rooms. Our lab is all separated by these different rooms, so everyone's sort of just cordoned off in their own little space. But um, here, right across from 32, we have our stock room. Where people kind of get a lot of their typical um, chemistry supplies. We have a lot of our dry salts, um, vials, and lab supplies, as well as syringes and needles and gloves and you know. It's a busy place, there's always lots of new things coming in, but we try to keep things pretty well stocked for people to use. Um, here is one of our instrument rooms, so in here, um, it's a little bit loud, but we have a lot of really interesting and um, useful analytical equipment for people to do their chemistry. We have a GCMS right here, um, we have an LCMS system for monitoring reactions and taking care of you know, mass data. Um, we have a chiral HPLC as well as a preparative HPLC for separating difficult compounds in norm reverse phase chromatography. Um, we also have one of our two glove boxes where we store a lot of our air sensitive reagents. People set up their reactions in there sometimes as well. Um, but this is kind of our main instrument room where we have a lot of these analytical equipment. Um, and I can kind of continue showing us on this tour. If you come out here, um, I'll show a little bit of the group room. So, the group room is where we typically have our lunches, people store their food, um, and it's just a general space for people to sort of take a break and gather together and socialize. So here's a little bit of a peek into our group room. We have a nice couch there with a great little periodic table blanket. Uh, it's a nice couch. Um, and, you know, for people to store their food, a couple of microwaves, um, just a space for people to kind of do their printing and, and other sort of office things in here. So we're going to continue on to a couple of the other instrument rooms out here. So in 849, um, this is where we store um, a lot of our other chemicals, um, as well as some interesting instruments in here. So we have uh, our nice solvent still for keeping a lot of our solvents dry. We use this pretty regularly for um, getting sort of air-free, um, moisture-free solvents. We have a microwave reactor, as well as a Merck photoreactor, a trusty old polarimeter, which is older than I am. Um, and desiccators for some of our other ligands and catalysts um, for the photoreactor. So um, we have a lot of different instruments people can use for their chemistry, um, photochemistry, microwave chemistry, um, all kinds of different things. So over in here, this is another typical room. This is 842. Um, this room has their lab separated from the sort of office space. Everyone wave to the, the video. Here's some friendly grad students. All right, so moving on, we're going to have our last instrument room um, in 839. So in 839, we have our second glove box, as well as here we have our second glove box, where we store other reagents, in addition to our um, very nice column chromatography system called the Yamazin, um, which is very useful for running preparative scale flash columns by machine instead of by hand, so that's a nice feature we have, as well as one in the hood, um, and our sort of DCM, deep stills, um, to keep us going that way. So, so I'm, I'm a big fan of life here uh, in graduate school at Berkeley, and so no matter where you go to graduate school, it's going to be tough. So it's like pretty tough here because of graduate school. Uh, but I think one thing that really helps out, or at least I think helps me out, is the people here, specifically the people in uh, the Sarpong lab, because the people I'm around all the time. Um, but they're all, you know, very nice and very helpful, and Whenever I have a question, which is pretty much all the time, all throughout the day, you know, people are really happy to help. And that's really like personally what I need is kind of that helpful and supportive environment. So that's really great. 
Um, and then, you know, outside of the lab, you know, I really like Berkeley just because there's quite a bit to do in the area. Uh, I don't really like cold weather, so I enjoy the warmth here. You know, today is like sunny 65. I was able to eat lunch outside, which is great. Um, you know, on the weekends, you can go down to SF and there's a ton to explore there. There's always, you know, a lot going on in Berkeley, uh, pretty good li nightlife too. Um, so, you know, outside of the lab, I think there's a good amount of things to keep you busy with, you know, whatever you enjoy. Hi, my name's Karis. Uh, I was an Amgen Scholar in 2018 and I decided to come back to the Sarpon Group this summer as a research assistant and I chose to enroll as a grad student this fall. Um, and ultimately, I made that decision because I really like the group um, and Richmond. He is an amazing professor uh, and the chemistry that they do is really, really interesting. Um, I'm really interested in carbon-carbon um, bond forming and breaking methodologies, which is something that they um, specialize in as well as natural product total synthesis. So if those are some of the things that you're interested in, I definitely suggest taking a, a, taking a look at the, at the group. My favorite part about the Sarpon group is how nice and supportive everyone is. Um, whether you're at the board during journal club and you don't know how to do a mechanism or you just need help in the lab or you just want to um, talk about your trip to Disneyland or anything, the group is super supportive and, and they um, it's a lot of fun and everyone um, is really nice to each other and I really liked how welcoming the group is, um, especially because I wanted to change from doing more inorganic chemistry to organic. And I think that the reason that was so, uh, the transition was easier than it could have been is because of how supportive the group is. So one of the main reasons that I wanted to come to Berkeley was to work with Richmond. Um, I found a lot of his previous research uh, to be quite compelling. Um, for each of the projects that he was uh, he was working on, he's always looking to teach the chemical community something new. So there's always some driving force behind the project of what can we teach people with this with this chemistry. Uh, I also really enjoy his mentorship style. Uh, I think he really cares about educating his students and is very supportive, especially in the, the first years of a PhD, uh, when he has a lot of input into the project and sort of uh, guiding you to get started but we'll also look to encourage you to have your own intellectual input into projects as you move into the future. Um, so the reason why I, came, I decided to come to Berkeley um, is because I really liked the emphasis on the collaborative environment here. Um, and so my favorite part of the lab um, because of that is uh, sort of the ability to kind of ask anybody for help at any time and somebody will be there for you. Um, so I really appreciate that. That's a little bit of the group and who we are and some of our lab space. Hope you found this informative and hope you come to Berkeley. Uh, I really enjoy Sarpon Laboratory life. 